I had a vision in my day sleep. My health and wealth was finally got a rising peak. Thinking if there was more unity in my community, there'd probably be a better me. Hello, this is Jay Harold, and today we will talk about the new African American high blood pressure guidelines from the American Medical Association. High blood pressure can lead to strokes and heart attacks and is one of the leading contributors to the death of African Americans. There are several ways to reduce your blood pressure without using medications. One is to follow a healthy diet, limit the amount of salt, what they tell you all the time, limit salt, and uh, because salt can cause long-term problems, it can raise the blood pressure, uh, and alcohol. Alcohol is always a problem. You can follow uh, a, a diet called the DASH diet, which is the Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. It's found on the website. You can also be physically active, walk uh, 15 minutes a day or about one and a half hours a week of moderately uh, a strenuous exercise. Uh, also, which is one of the top problems is to maintain a healthy weight uh, you can always control your blood pressure if it's less weight to carry around and reduce your risk of other health problems if the non-drug uh, regimes doesn't work to uh, reduce your blood pressure uh, you may have to go to medications and it's in general three different classes of medication. Now, this is not all inclusive and it depends on the individual, but in general, it's three different classes that they found uh, doing uh, trials and uh, tests to uh, uh, work pretty well for African Americans. They are calcium channel blockers. Uh, what they do is like block calcium going into the heart muscle so it doesn't pump as hard uh, as before and that lowers the blood pressure. Diuretics, which reduces the fluid or water pills, that re reduces the amount of fluid in your body and, you know, lose weight. And also, uh, you don't have to, uh, the heart doesn't have to pump as hard. And the third one is uh, ACE inhibitors, antiotensin converting enzymes inhibitors. Uh, what they do is they dilate or they widen the blood vessels so it's just like a water hose. If you make it a bigger water hose, it's not as, you know, not as much pressure on it. Those are the three main uh, medications used for African Americans. Okay, on the diuretics, uh, African Americans tend, or Africans, uh, people of African descent, it seems like the thiazide, like hydrochlorothiazide and their derivatives tend to work better. They work on the kidney and, uh, you know, j recommendation seven of the Joint Commission Report 8, which is the most current one, uh, talks about uh, the effectiveness of the drug. Some of the choices like uh, hydrochlorothiazide, uh, chlorothiazone, uh, you would always talk to your doctor to see which one is the best choice for you. In the calcium channel blockers, uh, oh, let's say something. On the drugs, these are there are always generics in these classes. So you don't have to spend $50, $70 necessarily for a drug. You might be able to get it for $5. Uh, the calcium channel blockers, like I said, uh, they reduce the amount of calcium uh, going to the heart so it doesn't squeeze as hard. But, uh, you know, like Norvas. Norvas is a very common drug. Uh, it's a generic available. It also can be used uh, for various things like chest pain. And it could be this class of drugs, the calcium channel blockers, could be control, used to control irregular heartbeat. Uh, the antiointensin uh, uh, enzyme inhibitors, ACE inhibitors, like I said, they dilate uh, uh, the blood vessels. They can be used for other things also. So what I'm saying is these drugs work in combination on different parts of the body, and in combination, they lower the blood pressure and do other things. Now, one of the main things that people ask me as a pharmacist is, when is this going to work? Is it going to be two months? Because I need it now. 
Well, the answer to that is, if you're not getting relief within a month, you should be talking to your uh, physician or healthcare professional about that. Uh, usually, it, it, it may, it should probably work before that, but a month is probably the uh, the most amount of time that you need. Now, the one thing I will tell you is. Uh, all these drugs have side effects. Everything has side effects, but you have to look at, uh, you got to weigh it. You got to balance it. Okay, if I'm having a stroke or a heart attack or, you know, maybe I have, uh, you know, I go to the restroom a lot. Well, you can manage that. Maybe you take your pill, uh, you don't take it at night, so you be up all night going to the restroom. So there are side effects. I want you to know that. But uh, high blood pressure is something you need to manage. You have a good day.